Okay, we're now ready to begin using the heat gun. And I use it on the high setting. Which is uh, 1200 watts. What we're going to look for, you're going to see fingers. They're going to be little fingers of air pockets formed. We're going to try to maneuver those air pockets all around the perimeter of the CRT screen here. And the end, uh, but the goal is, is to get the air pocket to merge right in the center. Then you slowly heat the center, all the air pockets merge, you might have to touch up spots along the way because it does cool down relatively quick. These air pockets dissipate uh, pretty fast, so you kind of got to be quick. And then once you get the air pocket uh, separated, you should be able to lift this whole lens right off in one piece. And while it's still hot, you pull the uh, PVA off. It's going to come off like a sheet. And it should be adhered to the face of the CRT, not the lens. What I do is just work one section at a time. I want to start at the edge, of course. This will heat up the fastest. Now, obviously, uh, canter it. Uh, here, look. Uh, see the air pocket form? see it. I'm just going to merge this around. See, it happened a lot quicker than I expected. Because we got this lens real hot with the, with the halogen lamp. quick this is going. This is incredible. And for those that question, this is the same procedure that you do on a roundy. Nothing different. starting to form right on this corner. Once that packet started, you just use the heat to move it around. Just like we are here. See how quick we can move that? Like I said, we want to get the entire perimeter first. Then we slowly work all sides till it merges in the center. to make sure, make sure there's no air pocket fingers when you pull off the CRT, uh, the lens that is, the CRT lens. It's pretty simple, but you just got to stay very concentrated, very focused. One 
thing that needs to be pointed out, very critical, I should have said this in the beginning of the film, you can only do this procedure on RCA tubes, or any tubes that have this mold-like apparent, uh, apparent cataracts. Zenith tubes with the green halo have a different bonding material, and if you try to do this procedure on a Zenith, you're going to crack the lens, because you can't create an air pocket on the Zenith lenses. The procedure for those, you have to use an electric hot wire. it takes to uh, remove a lens is directly proportional to the uh, severity of the cataracts. Quickly, we're getting these air pockets to merge. This is all the result of the preheating. Some of these other spots, it kind of cools down a little bit. Difficult to see on this angle. 